today is actually my birthday and yes, I'm filming a video <laughs> for you. So we found out there's a couple different chicken feet options. So, so yeah, we're gonna head back now. I walk up to the, where the gate is, get an Uber, go back to where we're staying. Boys are gonna stay there and then we're gonna head over to a brew pub. I'll bring you along for that, show you what it's like. All right, so we just came down. We're in the Escalante neighborhood. I'm gonna do a video walking through here to show you guys what to expect. So just at the Costa Rica Beer Factory. Just uh, Scott and Kathy are already here, so we're gonna go out there and uh, see what they have here. So that's really cool. They actually have the brewery right in here at the back by the bar. So I'm guessing they probably do uh, cask to tap. We went to a place in Kelowna all the time, the tree brewing, and they had that. They only had special ones at that place. So I'll find out and see. But yeah, really cool, funky place. I like this area here, it's super bright. With all the uh, fake plants and things like that, really cool. And then they do have a, a patio area, which we're sitting at, which you guys saw in the B-roll. So um, yeah. We'll go sit outside, see what they have. So, uh, flights, first one's a Dota fruit beer. Smells like fruit. <laughs> mm. Nice and light, refreshing. Um, kind of reminds me of like those, what are those? Um, I can't think of the name of them. They're just like those like the fruity beers that are four percent. Yeah, it's like a fruity. Yeah. They're only they're a lower percent. Right? Yeah. So. Oh, those things in the can. Not my favorite. <laughs> yeah, I can't remember the name of them. I had too much dim sum. My brain is dim sum. Can't think right now. This is a. What was this one again? Oh, this was a red, Irish red, Irish yeah Irish red ale. Escalante, which is where we are. Smells really good. I like that one. It's pretty good. It's like a lager. And this one, uh, everyone's calling it soy sauce. So this is Kipoman's finest. Actually, this is a uh, what was this one? It was the uh, Porto Viejo sweet stout. Yeah, it does smell like soy sauce. I know. I think they're tricking us here. So this is supposed to be chocolate and coffee. You definitely get the chocolate in it. The cacao. Not really picking up the coffee either. It must be like a light, light bit of coffee, but it's good if you like a stout. It's a, it's a good one. And if you have sushi, you can pour it on there too. And then this is the 
Tor Tortuguera IPA. Oh, sorry. Rude. Oh, Sh Shana didn't. She went. I wanted to try the soy it's my sauce. My birthday. <laughs> oh, oh bit sorry. I can have that little, <laughs> little tiny bit. I forgot that you wanted to try it. Ooh. She doesn't like it anyway. I was save. I was trying to save you. I was doing that for you. I taste soy sauce. She tastes soy sauce. So I, said you I don't know if it's it. just because of all the dim sum. And yeah, it's because we had so much is soy it just sauce. Is still on my palate? <laughs> That's but yeah, crazy. It is It is a stout, you can tell. Um, and then, yeah, this is Tor Tortuguero IPA. This has a, it's a fruity IPA. Yeah, it smells like a good IPA. If you like IPA. Yeah, that's a good one. That's the winner. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> You're just saying that because Scott likes yeah, it. Yeah, I'm, I'm copying Scott. He, my my video will probably be out before Scott's because yeah. he, he's retired. So um, eventually when his video comes out, the link will be here. So you can see his his rendition of this this uh, flight. <laughs> but yeah, this the IPA is a good one. I like it. What do they have? They have another one, a lager. Do they actually have it or not? Oh, it's just a lighter beer. A lighter lager. And uh, so 4% alcohol. Um, it's not part of the flight. Or it could be if you ask, I'm sure. But yeah, overall, a uh, really good beer here. Uh, we're so spoiled in Samar, we have good beer. So it's nice to come and try different types of beer in a different area. So I'm probably going to go with the IPA as well. And uh, you know, I'm just going to hang out here for a while. It's a really cool atmosphere, as you saw. A uh, nice vibe. A lot of seating. So uh, on the weekends, I'm sure you probably still have to make a reservation. But if not, you may be able to get a table. So yeah, we're going to enjoy some beer outside. All right, so Shayna ordered a mango daiquiri quite happy with it. Yeah, she said it's actually real mango. It's not there's just like a, chunks of there's mango. chunks of mango in it. So I'm gonna try it. Yeah, it's that's like, really that's good. That's the best mango yeah. daiquiri I've ever had in my life. For sure. And I've had a few. Yeah, I'd have to agree. It is the best one I've yeah. had too. Uno, dos, tres. Cumpleaños feliz. Cumpleaños feliz. Gracias. Chili Guaro. Gracias. You gotta come here on your birthday. Very much enjoying our many hours here. And we will definitely be back. Yeah. Okay, thank you. All right, so we just finished up at the Costa Rica Beer Factory. And uh, we're just gonna head across the street to Fakra. This is the restaurant we wanted to come to when we first arrived, but we ended up getting too tired. So uh, it's a Lebanese restaurant, Mediterranean, and um, yeah, it looks really good. They have like hummus and skewers and stuff like that. So yeah, we're gonna head in here and have my birthday dinner here. It's fun. So we're having an international uh, birthday today, as you can see in behind me, and we're in Lebanon Daniels. now. <laughs> Actually, I was just talking to a gentleman outside who's from LA, Gaylord, if you're watching this video, it's nice to meet you. Uh, he met the owner here, so maybe we will as well. He's actually from Canada, so he obviously moved from Lebanon to Canada, and now he's in Costa Rica, and I think he said he's been here for 30 years. Oh, wow. Yeah, so he's okay. been here for a while, so Most hopefully we get to, to meet Costa him. Rica, they don't leave. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Anybody that comes and moves to Costa Rica doesn't leave. Scott and Kathy are still here. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> They don't even sure. have a home here. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, so, um, yeah, so really cool to find that out that the owner is Canadian, I guess, in a sense. Um, but yeah, really cool uh, menu. So different different dips like hummus, baba ganoush, uh, there's a yogurt uh, dip as well. Labne? La Labne. I'd like to try that. Um, I know, that's what we're thinking too. Yeah, so all sorts of, there's skewers, there's uh, shawarma, um, kafta. I like, but it's 
So yeah, very uh, Mediterranean style. So um, yeah, I can't wait to eat here and share with you guys what the food's like. <laughs> I guess they're asking if the owner's here, so we'll see. Cafe, yeah. Okay, so the owner did come over, uh, gave him a card. He's from, what do you say, Toronto? Toronto. Right? Yeah, so he's he lived in Toronto and uh, moved down here, started this. And yeah, so cool to meet another fellow Canadian that's changed their life up, living the dream here in Costa Rica and hasn't gone back. So uh, yeah, we can't wait to try the food here. It's super friendly. He's like, oh, let me know if you need any help with the menu. And uh, yeah, awesome. Oh, here he is here. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Take the mask off. Yeah. Yeah. We need to there see we go. Yeah. So, smile. so, what was you what was your name? Leva. Leva. Nice yeah. to meet you. Yeah. So the nice owner here. You. Yeah. So anyone that comes to this area needs to come and have some Lebanese food here. Pleasure to have yeah. you guys. It's, it's a cool atmosphere. Awesome. Wow. Thank, Thank you. So Thank you very much. Nice to have you. Yes. Thank so you. yeah. We're excited. Love uh, love meeting friendly restaurant owners that uh, care about their food and want to share their experience with you. So yeah, we're going to pick what we're going to have. We're going to get a couple dips to start and then uh, go through the menu and figure out what, I'll, what else like we're going to have. Yeah. Like yeah, it's funny actually. Yeah. <laughs> we're actually at like a low table. Kathy said, like, oh, it's like I her feel size because like she's shorter. Yeah, something. it's know. like very comfortable. Very, like very yeah, like you're in some someone's house actually. Yeah. Yeah. Sitting, yeah. On yeah. Sitting on the floor. Sitting on the floor. What's that, Scott? You're a little low there? Scott's on the floor, so we can just speak for ourselves. We'll speak for ourselves, yeah. He's just got long legs. It's not our fault. <laughs> That's his problem, not ours. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna show you uh, the dips that we get. Okay, so we got the hummus and what was it? The lab labne? Lab, labne. Lab, labne, which is a yogurt dip, and then they brought a garlic paste as well, and then so the see, Lebanese flatbread. No, so, that's so you gotta so mix so it. Just in, yeah. let you. Yeah. Okay, well, let's. I'm gonna try it first. So this is the labne without the garlic. Yeah, you go first. Uh, it's nice and thick. That's so awesome. Is. Are you guys okay if I just make yeah, yeah, it all up? Yeah. Flavor's I really good. How much it is to put in. So we're gonna put all the, um, well, a lot of the garlic. Well, I'm gonna start with like half. And then the hummus, which we had the other night, which was good. A little warm bread. Yeah, the bread's warm. You can see. I know the hummus. I don't think needs garlic. When I had it, was very no, it was very tahini forward. Yeah, tahini forward. So different than like the Greek hummus. Um, it has like a smokiness to it mm -hmm. with that too. It's really good. good. Shana's mixing up the uh, <laughs> garlic paste. <laughs> the garlic into the yogurt. Oh, I don't like garlic. Oh, too late. <laughs> you better get your own. It's hard to say. I don't like garlic. Well, I guess you're not having any lebanese. <laughs> it's such a cool table too. It's like very like it's like very Mediterranean. Mm -hmm. This this table like mm -hmm. you sit low to the low to the ground. <laughs> so um, we, or, we like were ordering like a, a bunch of stuff and the owner came out and said, you know, you should just have the dips for now because it is quite a bit of food, which is a good um, idea. So if you're coming with people, this is something like two dips you can share, mm. enough for four people. <laughs> yeah. Because you don't want to fill up with, just on dips. Should we put the rest of the garlic in? That's so good. Is it good? Yeah. <laughs> Kathy's oh, so in, good. in heaven with the lovely. Shane hasn't had it yet. Mm -hmm. All right, so I got a, a good. Do you think it needs all of it? A good dollop it? of it. Most probably. Mm. Well, it's got our own yeah. personal garlic paste. No, that's good with the. She put about half of the garlic in there. No, I did like three quarters, but oh, I three think quarters. You, could, you could even do it all. You could do it all and it'd be fine. Yeah. But Here, I don't know if you want it was good without the garlic. Now it's like, it's perfect. This is so good. I've never had this type of dip. Nope. It's like a thick. Like oh, so a lot of people, uh, yeah, a lot of people are used to like tzatziki, which is a bit thinner, with because of the cucumber in it, it waters it down a bit. But this is like a thick yogurt, and then you put that garlic in there. It's like the best flavor. That's full on I need more, yeah. more of the dip. <laughs> yeah, put I'm more. Fill up on this. Mm. This would be good on like a chicken skewer as well. Wouldn't it? <laughs> Wouldn't it? Because even. Kathy, who's a vegetarian, is like, it would be good on a chicken skewer. How is it? So oh, good. so good. What? It's so good. It is oh, it's really like, good. We love everything with lots of garlic, so this is right that just, up our alley. Yeah. And we put it, you put all the garlic in. Lots of garlic. It's so good. You can buy a lot of hummus in the store. Yeah. yeah. But this one here, you make it from scratch. Yeah, yeah. it's got that smokiness our, exactly. to it. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, your chef's Lebanese. Oh, okay. 100%. Oh, nice. There you go. The chef's Lebanese. Authentic Lebanese. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. It makes a world so, of a yeah. difference. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's no, enjoy it. Yeah, thank yeah. you. It's so, so good. Thank you. So that's cool. The chef's Lebanese. So you're getting like traditional, authentic, yeah. authentic Lebanese food here. But yeah, this dip, the yogurt dip, so good. What hummus? <laughs> All right. So the owner just brought us a special hummus with uh, beef, walnuts, and almonds. <laughs> oh, I meant yeah. So I think it. That's really good. Yeah, it adds like that, whatever the spices are in the meat, adds a little different flavor to it and texture, obviously. Yeah. Just to add the textures on that and the flavor is really good. Get lots of meat. I'm trying to think of what it reminds me of. It's not like. What does it remind me of? Is it like a gyro? Yeah, kind of like that. Yeah, like a gyro flavor. All right, so um, we ordered the mixed skewers, which is lamb, chicken, and beef. And then, which is, you got the... Oh, gracias. Kathy got, oh, she's, her mouth's burning right now. Cheese empanada, I guess, yeah. Like a Lebanese. Spinach, tomato, and cheese. Oh, spinach, tomato, and cheese empanada, which you're seeing right now. Wow, it looks like it's uh, fried. And then Scott got the chicken shawarma, which Shana got that the other night. It's really good. So I'm going to start with the chicken. Seems really tender. Oh, my glasses. Mmm, yeah. Super tender, really good flavor, smoky. Gracias. Mm. That's good service. <laughs> really nice seasoning on it. Which one are you trying, the beef? I just did the chicken. And a little, little slice of onion on each one too, in between. Now I'm going to try the beef. Yeah, it's good. Tender beef. It is tenderloin, right? Yeah, yeah. So. yeah tenderloin. So, same flavor as the chicken as far as spices go, but you get that beefy texture. Mmm. I could eat like seven of those. The beef skewers, you want to try it? You have enough shawarma? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you get a lot of shawarma. Yeah. He's swimming in shawarma. <laughs> dad jokes. GenuineDadJokes.com. Remember, go there. And then we're going to try the uh, lamb, which is like. Uh, almost looks like it's ground. The way it's laid. Yeah, it is. So it's, it's, like smart, it's a ground smart, lamb. Probably with some tomato too. Probably the same I seasoning, I would think. Instead of phyllo, yeah. Oh no, that's really good. The lamb, yeah. What is that flavor? <laughs> what is that flavor? Name that oh, flavor. Oh, dill. There's dill in there? Yeah, here you gotta try this, Scott. You gotta try this. I know you, no, it doesn't taste lamb. I've lamby. tried lamb before, many times. Kathy? <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's usually mint with lamb. No, it's, it seems like yeah, dill. Dill? Yeah. Try it. Just try one little. Okay, no. Stop peer pressuring me. I'm trying to peer pressure. Yeah. yeah. Mil mint and dill. Mill and dint. Mill and dint? Mill and dint. <laughs> oh, no. The lamb? That's my favorite one. Do you want more? No. Look at this. He's swimming in shawarma. <laughs> Hashtag swimming in shawarma. Yeah, that's really good. And try it with some hummus now. Mm. So if I had to rate it, the lamb number one for me, beef number two, chicken number three. Oh, it's so good. Yeah. Amazing. It's more than okay. Like, yeah, uh, awesome food. Good. Uh -huh. Love it. Good meat. Oh, it's great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Good. Can't complain. I'm no complaints. Later for me. All right. Perfect. Sounds good. Thank you. All right. So yeah, definitely recommend getting the three skewer plate if you're into eating meat. Uh, just the different combinations of flavor, texture, things like that. Um, overall experience here at Bakra has been amazing. Uh, never had Lebanese food before. Definitely like Mediterranean style food. So this was like a go-to for us. Um, but yeah, if you guys are in the Escalante area, make sure to come here and try eating this. Um, they are open from 12 on, so you can come here for lunch or dinner and have this amazing experience. Oh, look at this. Got a, got a birthday dessert. 
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. Oh, oh. Now, this is the most special sweet that we make here. Okay. And it's called Knefri. Knefri? Yeah. Knefri. It's based with, uh, I don't know what kind of cheese. <laughs> Anyway, you don't need to know. <laughs> I think you would like it. Okay, oh, perfect. Thank you. Awesome. Awesome. All the best to you. All right. Thank that you. is so nice. sweet. It's nice to meet you. It's very nice to meet you. We will, yeah. we will yeah. definitely yeah. be back. I, yes. I, every I time do. we're coming to San Jose, yeah. we're coming to see you. So. Nice to see you. Yeah. Let me know before you leave how you like this. Okay. Yes. This is very special. Yeah, thank you. Very uh, awesome. authentic. We make it right here. <laughs> Looks like a cheese dessert. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's some kind of cheese. Cheese is honey. Is it honey? It's yeah, honey. cheese and honey. honey Gracias. With, uh, Gracias. Mm. Water or oh yeah, yeah. You notice that right oh, away. Yeah. Very good. Gracias. Gracias. See, we like unique mm. things. We like oh, things wow. that are unique. You're like, I'm sure you have never tried anything. No. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> That's awesome. Do you need a napkin? You got the sweetness, tart. Got a tartness to it. Thank you. It's soft. The cheese is soft. <laughs> this is like pistachio. Pistachio. Oh. Pistachio. Yeah. And this on top? Yeah. It's very liberty. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's so good. Thank you. It's I'm amazing. Good. Wow. Oh yeah. Yeah. Very really happy to do it. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, you get the sweetness from the honey, the pistachio. I think just but the then you get the, the, kind of... the tartness from the cheese. Like it's like a salty tartness to it. But also, yeah, there's a floral. Floralist, yeah. The, the rose yeah, water, as a, yeah. Yeah, there's a floralist rose, to it. Rose water. Rose water, he said, yeah. Yeah, it's different. Wow, eh? it's different, but very good. I'm full, but I just want to have more. Gracias, ciao. Buenas noches. Hasta luego. All right, so we're going to end the video off here. We had an amazing dinner at. It was so amazing. Bakra, it was so good. Yeah, just an amazing day <laughs> hanging out with friends. And uh, yeah, what a good birthday going to Chinatown and just experiencing different cultural, yes, very authentic, very authentic very cultural very cuisine very in really San Jose. <laughs> <laughs> it was tolerable. It was tolerable. So yeah, um, if you guys like this video, <laughs> please leave a thumbs up. Thanks for following me along on my birthday here in, in San Jose. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do hit the little bell icon to get notified when we come up with new videos. And we'll see you in the next one. Ciao. White. I need to have not, well, color grade this no so I look darker. In May. <laughs> Get it done quickly. Yes, so then we can, I can Stop order working. Real. I know. Stop working on your birthday, Chris. It's all for you. <laughs> like and subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> Don't forget to help hit the bell notification. You take your lens cap off, though, Scott. That's why it's so He's still learning. Hey. I like how yours are like super small. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I found a hoof. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I think that's how you say it. Doesn't sound very good. Bakra. 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 <laughs> or is it Pakra? Is, is it Bakra? 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 <laughs> maybe we should maybe we should ask the owner. How do you pronounce? <laughs> What's the name the number of the restaurant? Bakra. Bakra. Okay, so it is Bakra, not Bakra? Yeah, Bakra, not Bakra. <laughs> no. That's really No? Can I no. Think? What does no mean? No, it means good. Yeah.